Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again. And thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I was bound and determined to get a video in the can for you guys this week. Oh my goodness, I must apologize for being away, but I've had good reason. <laughs> As most of you know, uh, I really twisted my knee uh, on Saturday when everybody was here visiting. And uh, I am struggling over here. I will be honest, I am struggling. But it is getting a smidge better as each day passes. So I think this is going to take me a while to recover from. And I know that you guys are going to hang right here with me. So we're going to be doing a lot of chitting and a lot of chatting. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I don't have any plans to do any decorating in the next week or so, at least, if not longer. Uh, so we'll just we'll just go with it, you know? We'll just go with it, and y'all can ask me a bunch of questions if you want. And uh, I have do have a haul for you today. Uh, I know, don't I can't believe it, I do, but I do have a haul. I do have a haul for you, not very much. Uh, I want to thank a sweet lady for giving uh, me a shout out yesterday on her video. Oh my goodness. And I have a gift to share with you too. So just a little gift from the Buffalo Check Chicks. <laughs> They're so sweet. They're so sweet. And uh, they wanted to send little Maverick something. So let me show you a picture of that while I'm sitting here. Well, first, let me back up and tell you how I twisted my knee. You know, it, it, this is this is my life, you guys. I'm always trying to do things that I should not be doing. And I got myself, a, or Chris and I both bought it, uh, bought a big light ring. And when I was in the basement doing all of my purging and whatnot, we had that big light ring setting in front of me, you know, to light up the back, you know, of that wall. It's kind of darker down there, so we needed a little extra light. So it was sitting down there. Chris was actually cooking in the kitchen at the time because... He was, you know, everybody was getting ready to arrive, and I knew my dad wanted to do that wonderful video, which we'll talk about a little bit more, that that I put up on Saturday, my last video. The last video I put up, can you believe it, was Saturday. Oh, my word, it's almost been a week. I can't even believe it. Uh, I don't think I've ever gone that long, you guys, with putting up a, without putting up a video. Maybe when I was on vacation, but anyway, uh, so I went downstairs. I said, I don't want to bother Chris. So I walked downstairs and I picked this puppy up. Did I un, un, you know, it was all tall and the bottom of it um, has like legs that stick out, like three legs that stick out. I said, oh, I can do this, it's not heavy. So I put that puppy and I put it up over my shoulder <laughs> and I started climbing the steps. My right knee is, is actually the better of the two knees. Uh, so I was putting most of the weight on my knee and pushing against the wall on this side, holding and balancing it on this side and having kind of my elbow on, I was a mess climbing up these steps. So I could feel it kind of pull in that. I was like, okay, it'll be all right. Just get to the top of the steps. It'll be all right. So I got to the top of the steps and I had to unfurl the legs. I had to make the legs smaller because they were very wide and I couldn't fit, it, fit them through the door way. So I had to pause and, and balance myself and balance the light and unfurl the legs and then get it through it. Oh my goodness gracious. About five minutes later, I was not a happy camper. It was not good. So I did it to myself. <laughs> it's not like I had, you know, uh, any, any kind of catastrophic accident or anything. It was just me climbing the steps in a very uh, unhealthy way for me. You know, so it's just time. It's just time. It's twisted. I know what it is. It's just twisted, and I'm gonna. It's just gonna take my take me some time. The only thing I have a trouble going up the steps. So Chris got me a cane. So I got a pretty little cane. Is that pretty? And it telescopes up. Has little holes in it. Just got it at CVS. I don't even know how much you paid for it. Probably not much. <laughs> but it's pretty, huh? He said I got you the prettiest cane they had. <laughs> so I just use this to come up the steps. Just to, you know. So I don't have to climb the steps, put so much weight on that knee to climb the steps. Other than that, I get around pretty good, you know. Not for very long, though. I have to sit down. It does not hurt at all when I'm still and sitting. Uh, but I've had my legs reclined, iced, heat, iced, heat. You know, I do, I'm do. i doing everything right, you guys. Ibuprofen, the whole bit. 
So I'm good. I will heal. It will just take me a little while. <laughs> and that's okay. I know you guys are going to stick with me. So let me share with you what uh, Marlene and Kathy sent me. They're over there at the Buffalo Check Chicks. Oh my goodness, you guys are so cute. Uh, and they sent me this cute little outfit for Maverick. And we did not have a chance, girls, we did not have a chance to try it on him. Although it was 12 months, he would have been swimming in it. He's just a little tight. He really is just little. And he's just now getting into six to nine month clothes. Uh, but I looked, I showed it to uh, Dustin and I said, Dustin, I can totally see you wearing this. He says, so can I. I can totally see. I, I'm going to have to look for the the color of pants he had on. I didn't get a picture of him on um, on that day. I, I couldn't do much, you guys. I was pretty much seated. Uh, and uh, But the color of pants he had on on Saturday was the same color as the pants, the little shorts that they bought uh, Maverick and they, and he wears that kind of shirt all the time. So I can just see the two of them being, uh, dusted in his mini me literally in that little outfit. So cute. So, so cute. And then they did send me this and it was all wrapped up pretty. And the, and the, I have the packaging all put away girls and I didn't get it out. I was going to show the uh, black, uh, uh, Buffalo check bag. It was so prettily wrapped. It was beautifully wrapped. Uh, but they also sent me, um, it looks like Sherry's, 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 it looks like, uh, Dessert Harvest Prickly Pear Cactus Honey. Yum. We have not tried this yet, but I, we will be trying it. It looks delicious. So, wanted to show you that. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Marlene and Kathy. Thank you so much, girls. I hope that if you haven't gone over to check out their channel, that you will head on over there and check out their channel, you guys, because they just, they're just they just lovely, lovely ladies. Uh, I think they're one of their latest videos. It might be their latest as they show about their Easter and, you know, uh, their families. They share some of their families and what they did. And I really enjoyed that video, girls. So thank you so much, ladies. Mwah! Love you guys to pieces. And let me go in here to my YouTube and refresh my memory as to the name of this lovely little lady who gave myself and Liz over there at Traditions by the Seasons gorgeous uh liz is actually she texted me yesterday and she told me she says arlen arlen check this sweet lady out she's given us both a wonderful uh shout out and so i went right over there and she just uh, uh, she had me at hello pretty much this little lady just as sweet as the day is long and her name is chelsea gary g-a garay maybe garay G-A-R-A-Y. Chelsea, thank you so much, sweetie, for all of your sweet words. I very much appreciate every word. Thank you so much for taking time in your video to say anything about me. I so much, so very much appreciate it. She wasn't sure how old I was. I'm 59. <laughs> yes, I am 59. Uh, so, but, oh my goodness, I have not watched, I haven't had a chance, Chelsea, to watch your videos, but I will, I promise you. Uh, as I said in my comment to you, hopefully my comment showed up. I, my comments have been disappearing on YouTube. I did leave you a comment though to say thank you. But anyway, go over there and check her out, ladies uh, and gentlemen. Chelsea Garay, G-A-R-A-Y. I think that she has a lot of different content. She was putting, a, a, did a beautiful makeup job uh, when I was watching her yesterday and went in to, to watch her. So thank you so much, Chelsea. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. And thank you, Liz, for letting me know, sweetie. Thank you so much, honey. <laughs> you know I love you to pieces. Mwah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Liz, there are traditions by the seasons. All right. So I wanted to bring those couple of things to you. Uh, let me tell you about our Easter since it's only almost a week later. I'm, again, very, very sorry, you guys. Uh but I just have not felt up to doing a video. I've been in a lot of pain and have not been, I just couldn't gather my happy, you know, my happy to do a video. I could, I put some stuff in my Facebook group and I've put, been putting stuff in my community post on, on YouTube, but this has really, it really 
kicked me in the tail, so to speak, you know, and not much keeps me down, but this has kept me down and it will continue to, and that's okay. But if I can sit here and do videos like this, I'm fine. I'm not in any pain, just sitting here, you know? So that's probably what we're going to be doing. <laughs> so ask me questions and maybe I'll show you my scrapbooks. Maybe I'll finally get to that video that that other sweet lady gave me that I've never done and I've mentioned about 50 times and still have never done. <laughs> so maybe I will get to that next week. Uh, this will be it for this week. We are going to visit with Candace. Uh, Dustin is working tomorrow. And so Candace has, says, hey, if y'all want to come over and, you know, visit with us, Mav and myself, I'm like, we're there, you know. So she has a little, uh, you all have seen her couch that, you know, I can put my feet up on one end of it. If not, I'll get a chair and put the chair in front of me and put them up that way. But it, it helps me when I recline my knee. Anyway, regardless. Um, but... Oh my goodness, we had a lovely time here uh, for that Easter Saturday. And do y'all know that that video that my dad put up, and if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link to the to what my dad created, honestly, in the uh, description box. But that was his idea. Now the picture in picture of Maverick and myself was my idea, and Candace took that video. And if you see in that in that video of of me kind of going out of the picture a little bit, one of the dogs was over here fixing to bark out the window and Candace is like, arr, arr, get the, you know, trying to take the video and get the dog. That was funny. Uh, but that was my dad's complete idea. He wanted me to ask him those questions because he knows that, you know, he's trying to answer about his church and about his pastor and, uh, you know, about his brother's his wonderful, wonderful, wonderful brothers and my wonderful uncles. I just adore them. I adore them. I'm telling you. It's all of us kids always say we have our main dad, you know, our dad. But then all the three uncles are, are our second, third, and fourth dads. Honestly, they are fabulous men. All four of them. Fabulous. Talented beyond reproach. As you saw my dad, they all sing like angels. They all play those instruments that my dad spoke of. And he is such a good man. He is an amazing, how am I so lucky? How am I so lucky to have him as my dad, my awesome husband, Chris, as my husband, Dustin as Candace's boyfriend, and then little Maverick. These four gentlemen in my life, in my immediate family, I'm just so lucky. Not to mention my two uncles. My one uncle, Bob, is no longer with us, as dad mentioned. But my other two uncles, <sighs> I'm a lucky lady. I'm a lucky, lucky lady to have all of these awesome men and role models and uh, pillars of the communities, no matter where they are, honestly. So to me, I am one lucky and blessed lady. I really, really, really am. So... But anyway, that was totally his idea. I asked him the questions he wanted me to ask him. And then I said, well, I have an idea. I think that Mav and I will sit and watch you and we will, you know how they have reaction videos. He doesn't know that on YouTube. And I said, but we'll react to you. I don't think he really got what I was talking about and until he saw me put the picture in picture. And he watched me do all my editing. He says, look at you, you can do all that stuff. I said, yeah, dad, I can do all that stuff. <laughs> and then that's when he had the idea to harmonize with himself. And we put the little snippet at the end where he was harmonizing with himself. time doing that you know the kids you'll hear the people in the background talking and mulling around in the back and stuff and little maverick was enthralled with my dad's clarinet playing and i'll play you a, a snippet of the video there that's chris's phone ringing a snippet of a video that i took of mav listening to my dad or watching my dad play really close every time my dad started to play he would come over and climb up and, and touch and hold on to one of dad's fingers you know was so cute. So, 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 so cute. Honestly. 
an amazing day. It was so good to see Kristen. I hugged her, hugged her tight. It's the first time in a year she's fully vaccinated. We're fully vaccinated. And I, that I was able to hug on her, hug her like a big hug. Oh my goodness gracious. It was so good to hug her because she's been so careful because she's a teacher and she's had to be in with the kids, you know, not just the kids. It's not the kids that she was worried. It's like everybody else, you know, that in the school and stuff, you know, so Oh, it was a good, good day. Candace and Dustin were great. Maverick did fine. He took a good nap up in the happy room in the in his crib up there, you know, and he just, he is such a little joy, little Maverick, such a little joy. Oh my goodness. He just never, honestly, and I'm not even kidding you, you guys. He never has a bad day. The only time he gets a little bit fussy or a little bit cross is if he's hungry, you know, and he sees Candace trying to get the, get the lid off the jar and trying to get him set up in his high chair. And he's like, you know, I'm hungry. Give me that food, you know? <laughs> so buddy, when she starts getting it to him, he's like, okay. He's like a little bird, you know, we just had a wonderful time. It was wonderful. I'm just, I love my family so much, y'all. I just love my family. So, uh, thank I you. Keep updating know. dad. He says, how many hits do you have now on my on my video? How many hits do you have? How many hits? <laughs> I read through the comments with him while he was here. Read some on the phone with him the other day, as a matter of fact. He just is so tickled about all those hits, as he calls them. All those, you know, views. <laughs> So we had a great time. Absolutely a wonderful time, you guys. So thank you guys for taking the time to watch. And thank you so much for your comments for him. Thank you so much. They touched him. They really did touch him. He just got this big old grin on his face like, wow, okay, I did something really good to help our Lens channel, to help people, to maybe, you know, tell them about a church. And I told you about my church. Well, I gave you the link to my church, you know. So anyway, we had a great time. So, uh, in the meantime, though, I've had a couple of things arriving here that I had ordered. I don't know about y'all, but the mail is, is slow. It is very slow, and it hasn't caught up yet, I don't think, from the COVID. Things are getting better and better. Amazon's getting quicker and quicker and quicker. I don't have anything from Amazon. Uh, I have Vera, Bradley, Clinique, and Avenue. I've got a few things from Avenue. I am very sorry that I cannot try the Avenue close on for you right now. I'm just not able to do that right now, you guys. But I will try to wear them in upcoming videos and show them to you on me. But I'm very sorry. I just cannot get up and, and kind of stand and, and get myself situated and take a picture. It's just uh, it's not a good thing. <laughs> Well, let's start with Vera. Vera came in dribs and drabs. I got these three items from the same sale that I got my suitcase. Remember I showed you my suitcase a couple weeks ago now. Well, these came like this week. So anyway, I wanted to show you. Do you all remember? Well, I don't know. Maybe some of you even had. I've never had really a straw purse. You know, my mom always used to have a beautiful little straw purse that she would wear or use in the summertime. I will say it was not the most uh, <laughs> comfortable bag for her to wear. She'd always put it over her arm, and it was kind of a big and bulky bag. But this, I thought, was super cute. This is a crossbody bag, and this I got at the outlet. But isn't this cute? It's not really straw. It is, but it's a different material than what Vera usually uses. But I thought it was super cute, and I can't remember the tangerine Tangerine mist or whatever. It's the same as my suitcase. It ma this is how my suitcase is. And it's the same thing. And it matches my suitcase. It is a crossbody. And it does. So you can. Uh, maybe. Yeah. You can. Pull this strap out. 
as long as you need, you know. It is adjustable. Cute little bag. It really doesn't have anything in it. It doesn't have any pockets. For Vera, that's different. But it doesn't really have any pockets. But look at that pretty tangerine in the middle. Isn't that pretty? So I did, and this was a deep sale. It says $69. I think I paid, you know what, I don't remember, but I want to say maybe $20 or less, like $18, something like that for this. Super cute, though. So I thought this would be good for the beach. I love it. And then I did get a wallet. Since it doesn't have any pockets or anything in it, I did get a wallet to match. Again, this was not expensive in an outlet, but look at the middle. Isn't that pretty? This is one of my favorite colors to wear and to to not really decorate with so much, although I have kind of the happy bathroom is kind of has some of this color in it. I really love this coral color though. But this is kind of a tri wallet. You can, you know, put your license there. It's got a space for money. Can't really put a checkbook in here, you know. But it's got plenty of, you know, slots for credit cards and, you know, another couple slots up there. There's no pocket there. But then there's just a snap and then a zipper in the back for change. And it says, this one was $55. I did not pay $55 for this. But super pretty. I love this pattern. So pretty. So I thought that would be lovely, a lovely little duo for not expensive at all. So, and then one more thing, I got uh, I got the beach bag and a couple other things out of this. This is like Marion, I think, is the pattern of this. And this is just a cosmetic bag. So I just saw it and thought, oh, it's on sale. I'll get this. And I think that it's, it's very pretty. I think it's a very pretty pattern. I use this for my travels, you guys. I use these bags all the time. I not only put my must-haves, I, I use one for makeup, and then I use one for my must-haves when we cruise, and we will cruise again, <laughs> I hope, uh, but I use one for, uh, you know, all my cruises for my must-haves, which mean my magnets, my clips uh, that I put my, that I hang my shower curtain cap on in the bathroom, my shower caps, soap, sh you know, uh, little bottles of shampoo, and so on. So I use probably three or four of these uh, when I go on my cruises. So I love those. And that's it. That's it. That's all I got from that Vera outlet that just kind of finished out my order that I made the same time that I made the, the suitcase order. Just the suitcase came really quick and these were like, yeah, we're gonna take our time getting there to Spotsylvania, Virginia. <laughs> so then I'll, I'll, in the past, I, this is the first time I've had to order this particular item in a decade from Clinique, that is. I always get my dramatically different uh, lotion from the cruise ships. That's where I always get them from uh, on the cruise ships, these come. It always comes in a package of two for a great price, and I finally ran out. I'm well. I'm using the last one now, and so I had to go to Clinique.com and get this. I cannot do without this dramatically different moisturizing lotion. I use it in the morning before under my makeup, and I use it at night before I go to bed, and it is lovely stuff. I cannot, honestly, I cannot use anything else other than Clinique. Even when I use the mascara, that one mascara, cheap mascara that I bought, I ended up getting a sty in my eye. I, I, I am so, and that's the first sty literally I've had ever in my life. I've never had a sty in my life. <laughs> I had that dumb sty. I'm like, and that was the only thing different that I had done, you know? So anyway, I don't know whether that was the cause of it, but it sure seemed like it was. Anyway, so I ordered myself some dramatically different uh, lotion in the pump. Highly recommend this stuff. I can't, I can't recommend this enough. It is lovely stuff. So I got that. And then I got a couple of freebies from Clinique. Let me show you what I ordered first, and then I'll show you what the freebies were. Okay, I ordered myself another teddy bear palette. 
because I am, I'll show you which one I use all the time. This is the Teddy Bear palette and it's just neutrals. As you see, I have blue eyes. Well, my hair's kind of in my eyes, but I have blue eyes. And I use, this is my favorite color right there. I use that almost every day. And I do highlight with the rest of them, or I highlight with this. Uh, but this one I was almost completely out of. So I needed another teddy bear palette. So I bought this. It even gives you directions on how to use all four of these colors. So I love Clinique. And then I also ordered, and then right now I am, I have a, um, eyebrow like pencil that I used that I use every day but I wanted to try something different and this is from Clinique so this is a eyebrow brush on styling mousse for your eyebrows and it's let's it say what color it's like dark brown or slight brown or a dark blonde maybe something like that but it comes with a little brush like a mascara brush and you just literally, I've got my pencil on this morning. I haven't opened this yet, but you just you literally put this on your eyebrow like mascara and it fills in. I really don't need to draw too much in because I still have eyebrows, but from here over, if you've seen me do my get ready with me from like the middle of my eyebrow over, it's gray. <laughs> you can, I still have, you know, hair or eyebrows, but it's gray and you can't see it. So if I, if you ever see me without my makeup, I look very strange because I only have hair that you can see in a mirror from, from the center of my eyebrows over. And it's like that on both of them. So I have filled in my eyebrows a little bit. I'm not much of a makeup person so much, but I thought I would try this. I thought that might be a little easier than me drawing it on or, or drawing underneath the, the uh, eyebrow hair, you know? I'll get it out. But anyway, I'm going to try it. So those are the three things I got. Then I got a free uh, gift. And it came, and I could, could pick the bag. So I picked this bag. Some of them were very different looking. So I picked this one with the little watermelons on it. And again, with the, with the corally color, you know. And all of this was a free gift. And I'm going to go through this with you. Plus... I got this little tote bag, little tangerine colored. It's the, it's the color of the year for me. This kind of orangey tangerine color. Free tote bag too. So what came in this bag for free though was a liquid facial soap mild. A dramatically different hydrating jelly. That's kind of neat. Maybe that's good for like under the eyes and stuff. And then this is the take the day off remover. And I got an eye uh, liner pencil, black and black. I don't care necessarily like black eye liner. I always use slate. This is my eyeliner is slate, uh, but I might try it. You never know. I got me, this is the mascara that I use. This is High Impact Mascara, black. This is the exact uh, mascara that I use every day. So I take this on my trips, you know, just take the, the smaller version on my trips. And then I got a pop, do you believe it? I got a, I got a um, what is this, Love Pop, Love Pop. I already have lipstick on, but look how pretty that is. That is a beautiful color. So, I made out like a bandit. I bought three things from Clinique, but got all of this stuff for free. Everything that I use. Well, I've never tried the gel. I will say that. I've never tried the hydrating, dramatically different hydrating jelly. I've never really tried that. Let me see what the... Mm. Well, that's kind of what it looks like. It's kind of a gel. It kind of feels like hand sanitizer. <laughs> we all know what that feels like, don't we? It's kind of how it feels, but for the face. Nice. So anyway, I kind of made out like a bandit with, uh, with Clinique, for sure. So, 
But that's it. That's all I got from Planique. Okay, let me go on into my Avenue haul now. And I, I pretty regularly check Avenue.com and Torrid.com and Dress Barn, although I haven't bought much from Dress Barn in a long time. I'm not all that impressed with their, with their website. And I believe one of you told me that the quality of their clothing is not as good as it used to be. So I haven't bought anything from them in a long time. But I did find some really pretty things on sale at Avenue. I have no prices here. If I can flash them up, I'll do that for you. But I wanted to show you a few of the, these three things that I got. And I think I do have a few more things coming um, that may need to, I don't know when they'll get here. It takes them forever. It takes them like 14 days. So I'm not sure when that will get here. But anyway, this is a navy blue. As you can see, I need to like either iron it or put it like in the shower with me, you know, in the bathroom when I shower because everything came really wrinkled like this. But this is a real, if, for those of you who've been with me for a while, probably know that I have a black shirt much like this. Uh, it is a poncho shirt with a, a with an underlay, you know. They are attached, I think. Yes, they are attached. So I thought this was really cute. So I did get this. And I think I got a 2X, I believe. Oh my goodness, come here. Oh, it's an 1820. So about a 2X. I thought that was super cute. So I got that. And then I got, what happened to my, here it is. Another kimono. And this is a 2224. And the only reason I got it that large was because it was the only size I believe they had. And I like uh, an overlay like this to be a little larger. So look how pretty this is. Again, more of the peachy pink, huh? Look. And I just think this is super pretty. It's kind of long. It's a like a um, high-low, lower in the back than it is in the front. And you can kind of see it tearing up there. Super pretty. It's got sleeves. So I just love this. I'll probably wear this over black on black, you know, knowing me. But wouldn't it be pretty to find a corally shirt to put under with whatever white or black caprice? How pretty. So I love this. So soft and so pretty. So I got that. And then this, I couldn't couldn't resist and again I got this in a larger size 22 24 but look at this little red bolero jacket ah oh, how cute is this super wrinkly it's got sheer sleeves on it but I would wear this for every day just because I think it's pretty so the sleeves should be cuffed there we go and then it doesn't have any buttons on it. And it and the pockets, I'm not sure if they're real or not. They're not real. They're just faux pockets. But isn't that pretty? So I just love this. So I will be wearing all three of these probably in the coming weeks for sure as the temperatures uh, get warmer with that blue shirt. But the kimono and the red jacket I can layer nicely. So that's all I got though. That's all I got from Avenue. I, th I do believe I bought myself a couple pairs of uh, capris coming and I think that might be it though. I might not have uh, gotten anything else. So but that's it you guys. That's it. That's my complete haul and I have chatted with you guys for I'm sure I'll cut it down because I know I've bumbled around a little bit. <laughs> 36 minutes but let me check. I have not gotten any questions as of late but let, do let me check my computer and make sure that I don't have any questions. I haven't had any videos, so I haven't been calling for questions. <laughs> so let me uh, see here. My goodness, I'm one subscriber away from 32,000. Thank you guys so much to all of you new subscribers. Thank you so much. I so appreciate it. And while I'm at it here, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do hit that subscribe button. I've got a lot of people watching my analytics tell me because I've had time to check my analytics. <laughs> uh, you know, Almost half the folks who watch don't 
aren't subscribed. So if you'd like to subscribe, hit that subscribe button for me, would you please? And hit the bell so that you always get a notification of when I put up a video. And hopefully next week I'll be more steady putting them up again. I'm always really consistent, you guys, except for this past week. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let me get in here to my studio. Oh, Arlene, you're really courageous to keep coming on and becoming vulnerable to cruel people. This was on the video with me in the basement that one day. But many more of us out here, but there are many more of us out here who love you. Is there any way to block these vicious people? Yes, I can block them on, on YouTube. I can. People who go shopping in America keep our country working. That's right. And the millions of hardworking people are so grateful to you all. The small thinkers out there are ju just need to go buy something and think of all the people who bought those things to them, including food. Right? Good one. That was from Denise Glenn. Thank you, Denise. Thank you so much for saying that. That really wasn't a question other than just a kind of rhetorical question. Oh, I didn't see this. Sharon Connor, I do have a question here. Thank you for always, this was on my pound cake uh, recipe. Thank you for always being such a bright light in my day. I always save your video until the evening all so that I can end my day on a positive note. Quick question. Can your pound cake be cooked in a 9 by 13 pan? I don't have a bun pan, but would like to try making it. Happy Easter to you and your family. You know what? I don't see why it couldn't. I would just really keep an eye on it. I would probably drop the, the cooking time. Um, I cook it for about 45 to 50 minutes. I would cut the cooking time to about 20 to 25 minutes in a 13 by 9 inch. I would start checking in about 22 minutes, you know, with a toothpick, you know, when, the, when it pulls away from the sides of the pan. Just check it, uh, Sharon. So I don't see why you couldn't. I don't see why you couldn't. So if you try it, let me know, because that's a good thing to know, you know? Thank you. <laughs> Karen Cook, I love your bows you make. I wish I could, instead of paying someone to do for me, are you for hire? No, <laughs> I'm not for hire, sorry. Uh, Michelle, I embrace the discombobulated video. <laughs> <laughs> LOL, it's an added touch of reality. That's just how life can be, right? Right, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, that was from Michelle D. Okay, and that's the last question I had about those who talk to talk to me while I'm, you know, while I'm crafting or whatever, saying, hey, Arlen, do this or that, or yes, or agreeing with me. I do that all the time too. And that's it, you guys. That's all the comments. That, I mean, that's all the question comments I've had. And I will going to tell this, hi Sharon, I answered you in today's video. All right, you guys, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Um, and as I said, I will come back next week, but it will, I'm not sure what it will be, but it will be me just sitting here ch and chatting with you probably for another week, at least, at least it may be longer. You know, I'm not sure. Uh, the bunnies are starting to drive me a little crazy. I have to admit, I'm ready for the bunnies to hop on back to their bins, you know, but I have to wait. I have to wait unless Chris, you know, he always has asked me, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? Well, maybe one day I'll say, well, let's collect all these bunnies. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, but for now, things are going to be putting, being put just back to my blue and white. Eventually, I will start decorating for the patriotic, uh, probably in May, hopefully, Lord willing. I'll be able to start doing that. So we're just going to just bumble through April here, you guys. <laughs> Get myself good and healed. And uh, we'll know. continue on with our with our decorating and whatnot. So, uh, but anyway, that's it. That's it for today. So thank you all so much for stopping by. Thank you all for so much for being so patient with me and for understanding that it has been a rough, rough week for me here, but I'm feeling better, as I say, better and better each day. It's just a little bit better, but a little bit better is a lot better than a lot worse, huh? So I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it and embrace it and thank the Lord that he is getting me through this. And thank you guys for all of your prayers and all of your good thoughts and all of your happy, uh, uh, positive, positive words. You guys touch my heart and soul every single day, you guys. So let me go into my final words and say, thank y'all again for stopping in here. I hope all is well with everyone. 
And for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. And don't worry about me. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Love y'all. Bye-bye.